remember last night I said complex solutions to complex problems, meaning multifaceted, not just one miracle solution for an abundance of issues, but a lot of different things. And that's why you view it all and prepare yourself. Same for all of it. Tuesday night, this one, this is meditation. Thursday night is meditation. Monday night is meditation. Saturday is meditation. Before you go to sleep is meditation. When you wake up in the morning is meditation. One of the, the things about this whole process is you begin to become aware of these things in which you do, we all do, in these moments. You know, we allow the subconscious to dictate our consciousness. I mean, ideas, thoughts, dreams dictate our well-being, our feelings, which is why we're learning all this stuff, which is why we're presenting it. Do I think it's a big risk? <laughs> yeah, we're talking uncharted territory here in regards to this format. But becoming aware of the undeniable facts of how your brain works and your body works has got to be worth tremendous value in comparison to other things because even even though you're going to experience it it it's undeniable your, these dreams will come and go and uh, your feelings and emotions will come and go but when you become aware and you step outside of yourself and you begin to see yourself reacting to the old story or not reacting to the old story, it changes the game. It makes it a lot harder to deny it. I believe. So, you have to reconcile your thoughts. Not like you, but like, you have to go through the process of your thoughts to reconcile. You have to reconcile the past. You have to reconcile your action. And the longer you wait to reconcile it, the more confusion gets in between you and infinite possibility. And you don't know, remember, what you're rec reconciling anymore. And then you just try and forget it. I would say the ego. Yes lies to yourself given enough time and you are lying to yourself that it has been reconciled and it never has. Yes. That, that's the sickness of it. That's the sickness of self. And that's where I'm saying really mastering and getting good at reading the question and answering it right away and all the way is going to lead to a happy heart. See, I always thought it was with the happy heart. That was the religious programming. How stupid is that? How can you do things right away, all the way, with a happy heart? But it leads to it. The 
result is the happy heart. When we listen to the ego and we don't do shit, Gary V, which is right away all the way, and we don't have a happy heart. And we go crazy. Probably felt a little crazy during that time, didn't you? Yeah. Voices, the conversations, back in your head, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I've been there a million times, man. As far as your body was concerned, you did. That's why it felt that way. It released the same endorphins, the same shame, the same, all the cortisol and the chemicals. It released it as if you did. That's the importance of being able to go. Let me examine the undeniables here real quick. No, that's not true. I didn't. I'm okay. I'm in control of my actions moving forward. I'm not participating in the lie. Shut up, ego. Shut up, pride. Shut up, old story. I'm not doing it. Like the meditation, how you said you yesterday. Um, you feel it coming. What's it? The anxiety of the dream. And then what do you, what do you do, Jacob? You change. That's the new story.